Baptism is a sign and seal of our being brought in or incorporated into the body of Christ. And we baptize children because we recognize that children are a part of the life of a very important part of the life of our church family. And so today we're going to baptize Haddon Claire Patterson, and I asked her family to come forward this time. Baptism is a way that we not only dedicate children, but we also seek to bless them and ask them to be blessed by God. And we, as a congregation, uh, agree to pray for this child and commit them to God's gracious and almighty care. On behalf of the session, it is my honor to present Haddon Claire Patterson, Child of God, for the Sacrament of Baptism. And now we have some questions for her parents. Do you reaffirm your own faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, do you? Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith, to pray for your child's faith, and to teach that faith to your child, do you? And now, a question for the congregation. Do you, as members of the whole Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture this child so that in due time, Haddon Claire may confess faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and may be strengthened in her ties with the household of God? Do you? Let us pray together. We give you thanks, eternal God, that you nourish, sustain, and cleanse living things by the gift of water. We thank you for the church of Jesus Christ and for the waters of baptism. We praise that you have given us gracious promises concerning our children, and in your mercy, you call them to yourself, marking them with this sacrament as a token and pledge of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our one Lord. Amen. What is, the, what is the Christian name of this child? Haddon Clara Patterson, child of the covenant. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What just happened? The great thing is that God's grace always goes before us, even when we're unaware of it. And that's what the baptism of a child symbolizes. And we pray that Had and Clara one day grow up to claim the promises made on her behalf and accept the vows made on her behalf when she is older and knows the Christian faith. In the meantime, we promise to teach her and love her and nurture her in that Christian faith. So let's pray for her now. Lord, thank you for the gift of life, and thank you for the life of Haddon Claire Patterson, and commit her to your gracious care. Pray that you be with Blake and Brooke, and give them wisdom as parents, and bless their extended family, and this church family, that we would all work together to nurture, encourage her, and bless her in her faith. Thank you, Lord, for who she is, and may she indeed grow up to name and claim the promises made on her behalf this morning. Christ's name. Amen. And now with the